Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with some select basketball. Love this stuff. 2018-19 Panini Select Basketball, six box, half case, random team, number seven. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. As you know, there are the combo teams, Heat, Wizards, Pelicans, Raptors. Let's randomize each list. Six and a four, ten times. Your name's first. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got David Bruins down to John Samuelson. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got the Portland Trail Blazers all the way down to the Chicago Bulls. Boop. Drop that in there. Let's make the font a little bit bigger here. All right. David Bruins with the Trail Blazers. Let's make that a little bit bigger here. David Bruins with the Trail Blazers. Vasilis with OKC. Elvis Ekman with the Hawks. Eric Bailey uh, with the Pacers, Chris, Bucks, Elvis, Pistons, Quack, you got the Knicks, uh, Christopher Lauren, you got the Celtics, Mark with the Rockets, Josh with the Suns, Shamar with the Last Spot Mojo, Cavs, Rich with the Magic, Mark, you got my Lakers, Vasilis with the Spurs, Mike Bobby, you got the Kings, Juan, you have the Nets, Vasilis, 76ers, Stephen K with the Hornets, Juan with the uh, Clippers, Joseph Russell with the Jazz, Rich Schmidt, Heat, Wizards combo spot, Mike Tower, Pelicans, Raptors combo spot, Joe Foster with the Mavs, Jason Butcher with the Grizz, Vasilis, Nuggets, and Timberwolves. John Ryder with the Warriors, who are still leading, I think, right here in this game. John Samuelson with the Bulls. All right, let me know if there's any trades. Oh, yeah, Golden State's cruising right now. 113 to 94, with just a few minutes left in the game. Clay Thompson, 35 points, 12 for 21 from the field, 8 for 10 from the three-point line. Jeez. All right, we got Pacers. Probably up for trade if anybody wants them. Eric Bailey doesn't want them. Uh, Bucks for trade. Hornets are for trade. Bucks or Pacers, maybe. We do, Tice. We do have time for contenders football tonight. Some tea there. Oh, while while you guys are considering trades, let's pop this open. Let's see which half we're gonna do. Crazy for sports is here. Elvis is in the building. And he's thinking maybe Bucks for Pistons. Got pass on that as well. All right. So here are the six boxes right back there. Another six right here. We'll roll the die. Yahtzee? No, no Yahtzee. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be three. One, two, three. So this we will do next time.
So that's for random team eight. So there's random team eight. We'll save those for next time. All right, good luck, boys and girls. I guess I should officially close the trade window and then print. I'm looking at the checklist. I don't think I don't think Reggie Miller is in this. For the Pacers, you're hoping for Aaron Holiday rookies, some Jalen Rose, Miles Turner, Paul George relics. You can get a low number of Paul George relic. Rick Smiths, Thaddeus Young. Oh, you picked up the trout spot. Nice. I was thinking we would we would try to tackle that tonight, but I guess. I guess maybe that's going to happen tomorrow and said that clearly authentic. Um, Tice really wants to do the Contenders Optic Football. If anybody's interested in joining him there. That's a random team break. That might be easy, easy to fill. We'll have time for that. It's just a half, half of an inner case break, so it shouldn't take very long. Okay, good luck, everybody. Less than a minute left. Golden State up 122 to 101. They're going to hold on to the top spot in the West. Earlier today, Hornets edged out the Wizards, 112 to 111. The Magic beat the Mavs, 111 to 106. Heat, 126 to 110 over the Cavs. Pistons beat the Bulls 112 to 104. Uh, Rockets took care of the Sixers 107 to 91. Grizz over the Jazz. Grizzlies playing pretty well, especially at home. 114 to 104, beating Utah. Raptors cruise 127 to 104. It's the final 122 to 105 in Golden State. And looks like the uh, the Thunder are going to fall to the Clippers. All right, there you go. That's your score update for the Friday. I have not, Tice. I've been breaking nonstop. I've not had time. Jeremy Lamb, 4 out of 99, X-Factor Relic for the Hornets. That'll be for Stephen K. Just one man, Tice. If I had two extra arms... That'd be nice. Be able to do it. Trey Young, 16 out of 99. Draft selections relic for Elvis Ekman and the Hawks. Jerome Robinson to 299. There's Michael Porter die cut to 249. And Zach Collins, Trailblazers to 199. We'll sleeve up these uh, and top load these die cuts right away just to protect them from rattling around. We got randomized the Nuggets. That'll be for Vasilis. I know, right? Be an octopus. Would you guys still break with me if if I had extra limbs coming out of my, my, my torso? Or would that just weird you out too much? 
and you wouldn't break with me? Would it just be too grotesque? Luka Doncic. That's for the Mavs. Joe Foster with that one. A couple of these might cover the spot. Maybe one of these. I have no idea. Um, that's premier level. It might. We got Detlef Schrempf in flight signatures for the Supersonics, which of course turned into the Thunder. That'll go to OKC. That'll be for Vasilis. Tice, you would still hang out? Good. But I got one. I get it. It might, it might weird some people out. If I just had extra arms like popping out of here and just wiggling around all weird, people may not be able to handle that. Next box, select random seven. Nothing else sold out after this, and I do not see, I don't see a couple of orders right here. I think, oh, those are Elvis's orders, which I think is for baseball. So if you want to rally around that baseball break, you can squeeze that in tonight. This break will probably take us to the bottom of the hour around there. And so we'll have time to do uh, one more break. Two short breaks or a one like half hour-ish break. I think most of the stuff on the site qualifies for all that. All right, so all right. Yes. I'll see you then. Have a good drive. All right. There's another Supersonic. Jack Sigma. Should put a team back there. That's a tie dye. That'll go to Vasilis. Eight out of 25. Evan Turner for the Trailblazers out of 175. Die cut. Trey Young Silver. Nice. We'll save one of those for Elvis. He's been playing some good basketball. I guess if, if Luka Doncic didn't exist, Trey Young would probably be your rookie of the year. Trailblazers, that'll be for David Bruins with the die cut. Drew Holiday for the Pelicans, 99, die cut. And LeBron James die cut to 175 for my Lakers. Mark Madsen with my Lakers. Uh, Mike Tower with the Pelicans Raptors combo. There's Jordan Bell to 299. There's Mo Wagner and Jacob Evans, who might have gotten minutes tonight. I don't know. Did he? It's possible. The Warriors were cruising. No, did not. Zach Levine, Luka Doncic, Silver, and Carl Malone. Select swatches for the Jazz. Joseph Russell with the Jazz. Uh, that that Luka Doncic, Silver should cover some spots. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's these things go for a lot. If you're not familiar with collecting basketball, these are pretty strong. Nice concourse. 
and silver. All right, next box. So Warriors, 122, can they be stopped? I feel like they can't. 122, only they can stop themselves, right? If they just kind of mentally check out or infighting or whatever the case may be. But if Durant's scoring 26 points, right? Clay Thompson with 39 points. You know, Steph Curry with a pedestrian 17 points, seven rebounds and four assists. DeMarcus Cousins logging in 13 points, six rebounds, six assists, three steals in just 28 minutes of work, less than 30 minutes of work. It's a hard team to beat. Draymond with a plus 24. He had 10 rebounds, five assists, and a steal. There's Rajon Rondo. There's JJJ, Jaron Jackson Jr. jersey for Jason Butcher and the Memphis Grizzlies. There's Kevin Huter. Five out of 60. That'll go to the Hawks. That's for Elvis. This Troy Brown Jr. die cut. Blue die cut for the Wizards will go to the Heat Wizards combo spot for Rich. 102 to 249. There's Mo Wagner, Jersey and an auto. I guess you can call it an auto. For my Lakers, Mark Matheson with the Lakers. Just got to work on that. Well, now that the Lakers are playing god awful basketball, they're out of the playoffs, they should play that guy more often. You know, try to. Uh, Try to get him to more minutes. It'd be good for the hobby. Joe P. Yo. What's next? What do you want? What do you want to be next? Tice wants to do that contender's optic football. Elvis wants to do clearly authentic baseball. I think Rick Barker wants to do... Wants to do... Uh, there's Kyle Lowry for the Raptors. Pelicans-Raptors combo. Mike Tower. Rick Barker wants to do impeccable basketball. But I only see Elvis's clearly authentic orders coming in, so so I don't know. We got time for that pick your player break. That'd be a fun one to end the night with. Adam saying you're honestly disappointed with the Lakers. You thought they had the best chance to take down the well. Not this year. <laughs> I don't know. The, the season got weird really fast for the Lakers. Their margin of error was very small. Like, if, if, if they... If everything had to go right for that to happen. You know what I mean? For the, I, I don't think anyone, anyone... I don't think anyone really anticipated LeBron to, to, uh, to be out for that long with that groin injury. So, I think that really kind of derailed things. I think... Uh, I think Lonzo Ball being out, who actually runs the offense really well, and plays some defense too, kind of sets the sets the tone on defense. I think him being out in and out of the lineup and out pretty much for the last month, I think that kind of derailed things too. Then obviously all the trade rumor stuff and moving the entire team, and then you know some of the kids got butt hurt and all that, and all that combined into. What you see now with the Lakers, and you know you sign a lot of mercenaries, you know a lot of a lot of uh, one-year guys, you know, and so they're not really part of a team.
And so, result is that. There's Andre Drummond, X-Factor relic for the Pistons, Elvis with the Pistons. Well, I think they got to keep the young players, the Lakers do. And yeah, and then the rest of the players they sign, yeah, do have to kind of get with the program. In-flight signatures, Antonio McDice, lime green, on-card autograph for Elvis and the Pistons. Is that tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo? I think it was. 34 out of 99. Yeah, LeBron coach killer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Luke Walton probably is done. Somewhat unfairly, I think. There's Iguodala to 199. There's Donovan Mitchell to 149 for the Jazz. All those will be sleeved and top loaded before they go out, of course. Somewhat unfairly, I think Luke's not a bad coach. I mean, you know... He's, he's got to work on some, some substitutions and rotations and whatnot, is what a lot of people are saying. And I, I can see that. But in general, not a bad coach. <laughs> if Luke goes, though, I mean, who's going to... Ty Lue? Jason Kidd? Those are some of the rumors that have been bandied about. I don't want that. Look at this. Tie-dye Aaron Holiday draft selections. Three color jersey for Eric Bailey and the Pacers. They're not so bad when they hit. Eric Bailey. I think people in LA like Aaron, the Holiday family, a lot more than other people around the country. Yeah, that was a bit of the tried to trade, couldn't trade. That, that is for real. TJ Warren, die cut to 249. LeBron will get Jeannie bus fired. Oh. <laughs> I like Jeannie a lot. I think I think she may have made a mistake with Magic Johnson. Well, that what's everyone's talking about in LA is like on local sports talk radio and stuff is um who's to blame? Where's the blame pie? Where's the blame pie pie lie? I, I think it's front office. It's got to be front office. I mean, you know, they're the ones that, that took the risk of bringing LeBron in, right? We know what kind of, I mean, he's an incredible player, right? But you know what kind of stuff he brings too that are, that are somewhat negative. And you knew the risks of constructing that kind of roster around him over the summer. So, like, oh. Kind of, kind of put this on. Now they got, they got the, uh, they got the summer, right? I think this is kind of their last chance. I think as far as LA fans can go, you know what I mean? I think that's the leash. The summer. If if they can kind of maybe keep some young guys, add some players, and 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 get a solid solid foundation going for next season, I think LA fans will be okay with that. They'll they'll let that ride. That'll. But if they, if they don't if they screw if they don't get Kyrie or if they don't get Anthony Davis if they don't get any free agents Kawhi or whoever is going to be available if they don't get anything like that and it's just more of the same it would be, be some very very disgruntled Lakers fans who've been patient for a while saying this rebuild is going to happen this rebuild is going to happen. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So we need Phil Jackson back. I don't know. Look what I don't know. If Phil Jackson and Genie are going to get along. Out of two forty nine, Aaron Gordon die cut. SGA to one seventy five die. Cut. We're turning that. Or we're turning that narrative around today, Joe P. No, the last few breaks you were in, we've gotten you a little something recently. Um. But I mean, look what Phil Jackson did with the Heat. Phil Jackson kind of ruined the Knicks a little bit, or set them back a few years. No, not Phil Jackson. He's past his prime, and obviously him and him and uh, him and Jeannie Buss aren't going to get along. Joe P, did I tell you that 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 everyone got yelled at the next day at the conference? I know you do, Joe. 
I'm glad I could hook that up for you. We got in trouble. Not 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 me uh, me specifically, but there were comments made by the by the uh, tops brass to the entire conference. No, I mean no one yelled at anybody in particular, but they were, but they were just like or they were just like they were like yeah, it was a great conference last night, and Christian Yelich, you know, had a good time up until until up until the end when he got hounded for autographs and stuff like that. And they all kind of laughed. They're like. By like people who weren't at the event who got hounded for autographs, and I was just like, Christian Yelich could have just left. He could have said, "Sorry, guys, we'll see you next time." There's Anthony Simons, three color jersey and auto. I think, I think, I think it was actually, it wasn't really. I think what they were really mad at wasn't. Like after the event, when at, at his car, I think it was most. There was like a there was someone who had gotten into the event via someone's friend or something, and then he had like two baseballs and like a shirt for him to sign or something like that at the event. I think I think that was kind of like come on. I think that's I think that's really what they were talking about, not the afterwards stuff. Daddy's young to one seventy five. So whoever whoever got inside, I think that's what they were. That's what the tops folks were really kind of miffed about. I get it. I mean, you know, it's supposed to be a private event and a special thing for people who paid for, you know, the conference. Somehow he got in, Joe P. How did he do that? He got in. the The tops guy that was that was next to Yelich was was. Was pissed. Yelich was awfully nice. I think the, the that guy came up and was like, "Hey, you mind if?" And this was after everybody got their cards and stuff. But uh, but then he was just like, he was just like, the tops person was like, "No, you can't." And then Yelich was like, "Fine." <laughs> Panini has an event too. I don't think I don't know why we don't go to that one. That's in Dallas. I mean, it's a little far for us. Does Upper Deck do one? They they used to have a they used to have a whole industry conference. They used to do it in Hawaii for like the entire week. And Upper Deck and Tops and and Panini would all go there and they'd have a big conference and Q and A's and fun panels and stuff like that, but and they all split. All right, last box. We already got to the last box. There's Chris Paul, lime green, 75. We got Wendell Carter Jr. to 199. Mr. Wendell. That goes to John Samuelson and doubles. One ninety three out of one ninety nine. We got a Luka Doncic relic. Yes, relic. That'll go to Joe Foster and the Mavs. There you go, Joe. Joe Foster with the Mavericks. I'm telling you, this relic plus like those the, like that silver Doncic probably covers like a ton of spots in this break in the random team break. There's gold, no orange. TJ Warren to sixty-five. Dennis Schroeder to twenty-two ninety-nine. That is. We got Raymond Felton, Relic, for Joe Foster and the Mavs. Yeah, those those Lucas might even get you a Tesla. <laughs> Powered by Luka Doncic. Throwback memorabilia for the Mavs. And the last thing here is going to be a Torn Prince. 
10 out of 175 die cut. And we are done, ladies and gentlemen. See, that was a breeze. Breeze, ladies and gentlemen. Second half of this is in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I guess if it fills in the next 10 minutes, we can do it tonight. Otherwise, we'll do it tomorrow. That was 18-19 Panini Select Basketball, Random Team 7. I did not see a zebra, which is not guaranteed one per case, but generally falls one per case, so we can chase that in the next half. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.